Facebook, YouTube. Today, you know, look, I'm about exposing darkness. Yes, the light exposes the darkness. Now, if you're not, you know, exposing darkness, we have to ask a question, is you a part of the light or darkness? Because light is supposed to expose darkness. I mean, a lot of people, you know, say they're the light, but are you, are you, you know, exposing what's not going right around, you know, where you at? Are you exposing what's going on in the church, what's going on in the world system? What's going, the light will be motivated to want to, you know, show the truth, you know, if you have the light, you know, and, you know, you won't allow certain things to continue on in darkness concerning what's going on in this world and what people, what, and how it's affecting people. Now, I'm finna be, I'm about exposing the darkness, you know, and, you know, because I don't wrestle against flesh and blood. You know, it's foolish. I think it's foolish. But I'm about wrestling against the principalities, the powers, the rulers of darkness in this world, and the spiritual weakness in high places. Now, I, if you watch my videos, you watch that I clearly uncover the plot of, you know, Satan and, and his kingdom of darkness. And I expose them concerning the days and concerning the planets. And I expose, you know, the the principal the powers you know the powers are putting stuff in the air antimatter making people you know negative i'm showing you and now i'm finna tackle those uh luminati and freemasons you know and i'm finna show you something about them concerning that about what their role is in the kingdom of darkness their role is to uh of course establish the reality of darkness, to make darkness, to make sin a reality. They, they're here to make something that was uh, dark light to you. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, by your, your lustful desires concerning what they utilize on television and radio and stuff like that, they're here to say, you know, really they're all about the, uh, Isaiah 5 and 20. They're all about making good evil and evil good. That's really the whole motivation of their whole plot. And to make people desire that reality, that settle for what is, you know, what is evil that is now good to you and what is evil that is now good to you. You know what I'm saying? They want you to desire that reality. And, you know best way shape or form so that they can deceive you into their you know system it's just that simple but i'm going to show you uh about you know the freemasons you know they got this uh i don't know if you know they have a you'll see a checkered floor you know what i'm saying like this a checkered floor you will see uh that they you know operate on now god showed me what this is important, you know, I can see, you know, the ideal of understanding of the metaphor of what it's all about, you know. And it, what it's all about is so many angles and different ways to look at it. That's the things why he, they're, you know, they're clever to deceive people. There's many angles and ways to look at things and they present things in different angles and different shapes or forms that you will not be know that you're being deceived or manipulated or controlled. But uh, this checkerboard they use. Now, this is the, I'm going to show you some ideas of what this means concerning to how they utilize a system concerning the world. This is a system. See, they're stepping on a system. It's a system that is in our you know, world that they're all about following really the checker rules. The checker rules that they follow is they make sure that, you know, they, first of all, they walk on these floors. They walk on the floors and stand on these floors. See, and the thing is, it's like a chess piece. And really, the thing is, the, 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 they're all about playing a chess game with people. 
concerning their avenues of influence concerning music, you know, entertainment, politics, you know, uh, uh, all of all of the above, sports or whatever. They use this method here, and I'm gonna show you how it works. You know, they 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 use this method. Now, here's the idea: there's white, of course, there's white uh, 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 squares. Now, you say, you know, you will say white squares. Now, watch this. I'm going to show you this. White cubes. Hmm, wait a minute. White cubes? Where you get white cubes from, Mac? No, these are not really white squares, but they're white cubes. Now, use your imagination and pretend that this is like a Rubik's Cube. And a Rubik's Cube is all about, you know, twisting and, you know, you twist it and twist it and twist it and twist it to, you know, uh, uh, when you purchase your Rubik's Cube, it's already twisted. But you have to, you know, more likely align the colors. It's like, I think, yellow, blue, uh, red, and green, and all the colors of the four-sided. Let's see this as cubes. But what the Illuminati does, like this, you know, sign, they, you know, twist everything, twist. Yeah. Twist is the way of perverting. It's just twisting everything around and make you believe this is light. They say this is light. They say this is light. More likely, this is light. Be more likely, like I said about Isaiah 520. This is good. Well, let's say reality, this is evil and this is good. What they do is, like I say, they and then they'll show you an image that you desire within your flesh. And they give, give you a reason to desire within your flesh. And they'll have you saying, no, this is good. This is evil. This is good. This is evil. Now watch this. Watch this. This is awesome. Now, the Rubik's Cube really represents, you know, I use the kind of like the desires of our hearts. Now, but watch this. When we start desiring this reality, you know what I'm saying? What happens is we start believing. Like I did a teaching before, uh, is believing you will, is believing in it. When you believe plus accepting equals reality. That's what the idea Believe this and accept this in your heart and produce reality. Now, I got a scripture for that, too. Genesis uh, 5, I mean, Genesis 6 and 5, that it talks about that God had to judge the uh, people on that time because they continuously, with their thoughts, first their thoughts within their hearts, their thoughts within their heart. That's the cycle of the Rubik's Cube concerning their you know, arrange everything. The thoughts, no, first, I'm sorry. The thoughts first goes and they rearrange this and they put it in your heart. And your heart rearrange it down here. The thoughts of your heart that you will continuously do evil. And you got to understand that scripture because they're doing the same pattern, but they're using different signs, different images, different patterns. You know what I'm saying? And that's how they're, you know, utilizing this within your, of course, they're trying to get to your penatal glint, which Jesus talked about in Matthew 6, uh, and I think uh, 6 and 21 and 22 about the eye. If you get the eye darkened, if you get the eye darkened, you know what I'm saying, the body will respond to darkness. If you get the light darkened, I mean, light, lit up, the light will do so, what's right. And they're trying to get that to that penatal glen that is inside of our heads that, you know, when it gets darkened, what it says, it produces, uh, it shoots a chemical all through the body. And it shoots a chemical all through the body to get the body to yield to whatever you put in there. If you put darkness in there, your, in your, this penatal glen, you will yield to darkness and you find yourself doing dark things. 
of course, sinning thing. You be sin. You know what I'm saying? You will respond to it. And that's what their whole objective is all about. And you got to see that, you know, and how they run the system. Now, I'm finna, now watch this, what they do concerning your mind. Let me go back to that carnal mind. Yeah, that carnal mind that they... Now, the thing is, like you, when people think, you know, certain things, you know how, like I said, the Rubik's Cube. It has different, all kind of colors, you know, on the side. It doesn't have the whole side, the whole connect green side, the yellow side, the red side, the blue side. It doesn't have the whole thing there, but it's all mixed up. And that's how people think in life. They think things all mixed up. And like the Rubik's Cube, they, you know, they, they, they think you, you will speak to it. It's like this. You will speak to them. I'm speaking from the Rubik's Cube, you know, colors. You will speak like orange, you know, uh, yellow, gr you know, green, red, you know what I'm saying, to people. I mean, you will speak sense. You will say something that makes sense to them, you know what I'm saying. Say, now, I'm, yeah, I'm sorry, y'all. This is the correct way we're supposed to see things. This is wisdom. This is a mind of wisdom. This is a wisdom mind, wisdom heart. You know what I'm saying? Wisdom heart. That light, darkness is darkness, light is light. And it's just that simple. It's this one little line right here that separates the darkness from the light. That this is the correct way we're supposed to do things. But here's the thing when they mix it up in the Rubik's Cube. They have you thinking that, you know, one side is, you know, I'm sorry to use the colors, but this is good and this is bad. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, go back to the, you know, Isaiah 520. You know, this is good and this is bad. And you will, they will think like this. They will think like this. And they, and what happens is you create your own reality. And your reality starts to look like what, how you set your mind, like the mindset. You correct your mindset, you know, to this reality. You set it. You don't try to, you know, figure out, you don't try to understand how to figure out whatever thing that you're trying to figure out. Your mind is set like this. And the thing is, when you keep your mind set like this, you... Do you look at perceive things all wrong? You perceive how you live your life all wrong, because that's what they're trying to get your mind set like this. So your heart is set like this. You know what I'm saying? That and you and what happens? They fill you up with lust that you don't have a desire to want to change. Yeah, you don't want to change the way you do. Change the way you do things, and that's why they're making sure lust is in your heart, because lust is all about a heart. And iniquity and iniquity comes and hardens your heart that you can't hear from God, you can't hear from nobody, you just can't respond to things. And the thing is, that's what they're utilizing the system. Now, the correct system that we're supposed to do is this system that this is right, this is wrong, this is right, and this is wrong. But first, Jesus said, you know, and uh, confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. First, we got to start off it in our hearts here. That's what God says. And, of course, if you know, the, uh, all through the Bible, it's always a, our heart issue that we're not changing, that we have to have a desire to change, to see things right or wrong. And then it will transform, it says, become a living sacrifice in our heart and be acceptable inside, and be transformed by the renewing of your mind. We start renewing our mind. We start... You know, Boom, and we're supposed to get this when we get our mind renewed correctly. And that's how it's supposed to work concerning, and we start seeing things right is right and wrong is wrong. And we start living that way too. And that's how it works is that we're supposed to get us if we start applying the word of God each and every day. And I encourage y'all to fast, I mean, to, uh, to fast and pray, yeah, but to fellowship the word of God. And that really helps that process to continually to motivate you to want to change. And that's how true transformation has to be established. So that's what I'm all about, exposing darkness and showing how darkness is doing you and trying to get you back in the light. And that's my mission. All right, to God be the glory to him forever, ever, in Jesus' name, amen.